Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay if I start the show? Yeah. Okay. Okay, really, seriously. All right, all right. Yes. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm having too much fun with this. Do the thing, and hi! Yes, we are back once again. We have returned the way lemmings do not. Welcome to the Troubadour Show. I am, of course, Tobias the Adequate, coming to you from an undisclosed location in San Antonio, Texas, where it has been rainy, but not rainy, but re rainy, but sort of rainy. Yes, yay. And I think I figured it out. There's actually um, about a 10 second delay, 10 to 15 second delay, because I'm streaming this through OBS to, yes, the sound works. <laughs> How good the sound works. Yay. How do you think you, how do you think I feel? I mean, the fact that it works is just amazing to me. Um, but yeah, there's about a 10, 15 second delay. And apparently that is a thing with Facebook Live. So we will deal with it as we go. Hey, Heather! Wow! Dang! Good to see you! I have no idea... If, I can't remember if you've, you've shown up for any of these shows before. I love the fact that people are showing up. It's kind of amazing. Um, yeah, it's always good seats, depending on your seats and your chairs. I'm going to try something this show. I'm bringing out Purdy again. This is Purdy. Purdy is an eight-string tenor ukulele, which means that there's twice as many strings to tune and twice as many strings to go horribly out of tune. Now, I did tune this earlier, but I count on nothing, and with good reason. So we'll see how this goes. It's kind of like prosthetic talent, you know? But it is pretty because it sounds... Oh my gosh. Isn't that nice? I don't like that. It's, you almost don't need any talent. <laughs> almost. Um, this is the Gratuitously Nautical show. We are going to be doing sea show songs, songs of the sea. And yes, I am doing the mermaid. And yes, that's a threat for those. That, the, some of the folks who are watching this uh, are either former California fair folks or current California fair folks or current Texas fair folks. And the mermaid has a bit of a tradition at the Texas fairs, particularly at Scarborough as part of the world famous Scarborough fair pub sing, because everybody gets to, you can, you can actually write your own verses to the mermaid. Hopefully this, the B mind, this B flat chord won't kill me. That's a B flat chord. Um, as long as I don't play too fast, I think we'll be okay. Let's do, um, yeah, Kay, and I actually, Kay says, oh, dear God, and with good reason. And Kay, I, I should let you know, I did tell everybody that they did have the opportunity to submit verses, and only one person did. And it's not even a Texas Fair person. <laughs> That's the part that I love the most. All right. Let's get started, um with an original song, a song that I wrote because I was puttering around and I had to do this, we're doing this and this and this and this and then we'll steal their socks. What? And then we'll steal their socks. Now I gotta write a song and this is a song that I wrote. Arr. Come listen to me tale me hearties heed well to me call we'll launch our ships and stealthily we'll fly it over the wall We'll land as soft as feathers And we'll deftly pick their locks We'll pounce upon our prey, me boys And then we'll steal their socks Sock pirates in dirigibles The sky be where we roam Just looking for a decent pair Without a holy toe Sock pirates of the air, me boys, the clouds be where we roam. 
we'd all turn on the sailors if we just could make our own. The City Watch, they know our ship, each one does know our names. They stalk down us poor sailors, sailors, and upon us heap their shame. We'll ransack every port and town for hosiery we adore. Tis not so much a fetish, more a way of keeping score. So pirates and dirigibles, the sky be where we roam. Just looking for a decent pair without a holy toe. So pirates in the sky, me boys, the clouds be where we roam. We'd all turn on the sailors if we just could make our own. We'd almost had our fill, me lads, but we made one stop more. Accosted a fair maiden coming out of the yarn store. This plucky lass, she was quite brave. She did not flinch a bit. She glared us down defiantly and taught us how to knit. Oh, that ain't hard. So pirates of the sky no more, no longer do we roam. We've all turned on the sailors who know how to turn a toe. Sock pirates of the sky, no more, we've settled down at home. We've all turned on the seamen now that we can make our own. Yeah. <laughs> it's the silly, it's one of the silliest songs I've ever written. It is a traditional. Airship original dirigible pirate sock stealing sea shanty in the traditional mode. You know, like the ones you used to sing around the campfire at home. Oh, all right, off to a decent start. Um, this is, it's an interesting instrument because it is, it's got twice as many strings, yes, and there's a lot of tension on the strings. Uh, these two, the two lower ones, so it's G. C, E, A, and the A's and the E's are both tuned in pairs, and then uh, G and C are in octaves. So it's kind of got that mandolin feel to it, which I kind of like. I can't play a mandolin, but I can play this, so there we go. And yes, Alicia, it is so bloody cute. This was the third eight-string ukulele I attempted to buy. I tried to buy it once on on, uh, on Amazon.com, and they took my money, and then they canceled it. And then I tried to buy it off of a music instrument site, and they took my money, and they canceled it. And so I actually went to a brick-and-mortar store and said, Hi, I'd like to buy an eight-string ukulele in the tenor mode. And they said, Well, okay. And they found one. And they bought They sold it to me. And this is Purdy. That's her name, because she is. Uh, she has a built-in tuner, but it takes a 9-volt battery, and I am out of 9-volt batteries, which is why I have this tuner here. See? Simple enough. Now, the next song I'm going to do is one that was written by my friend John, who is also one of my Patreon patrons. And I didn't just do this song because John wrote it. I did the song because it's a great song. It's a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with it. Um, which reminds me, Kaylee... When you hear this, and you will hear this eventually if you're not already watching, Kaylee gets to um, put in a request for at least one show a week while I'm doing this, this multiple shows. And when I go to the weekly schedule when this all clears up and I'm just doing this on the weekends once a weekend, um, she gets to put in a request for a song. Preferably when I know. Preferably when I've done. But she also, because she's putting in a, a ridiculous amount of Patreon money, um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, she also gets to uh, say, you're so darn smart, write a song and give me a subject to write a song on. So, you know. Well, let's see here. So that's going to be Captain's Log. Let's see if I can do this one properly. <clears throat> And my version of Captain's Log is already significantly different enough from John Quigley's version of Captain's Log that uh, drift has occurred and it's drifted right on out with the tide. 
Oh, the name of the ship on which we sail is a jolly roving dog. And the crew be bold, the bosun's old, and we all do love our grog. The captain was the toughest man to ever sail the seas. Until one thing finally struck him down, t'was a nasty French disease. Oh, the name of the ship on which we sail is a jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. Oh, the captain finally met his match, old France, she finally won. The first mate sat beside him for the setting of the sun. And the last words of the captain to the good crew of the dog was that none shall ever take his place till they find the captain's log. Oh, the name of the ship on which we sail is the jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. So we searched down in the scuppers and we searched up in the nest. For a time we kept our spirits high with witty words and jests. But soon a gloom enveloped us thick as a pea soup fog. For no matter where we looked, we could not find the captain's log. Oh, the name of the ship on which we sail is a jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. So at last we took to the great big book that the captain brought to sea, in which he put each day's events as written a history. But no matter where we searched inside that vast and lofty tome, we could not find where the captain's log had chosen for to roam. Oh, the name of the ship on which we sail is a jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. Oh, the many logs that we did find, they all did look the same. But we never once found a piece of wood inscribed with the captain's name. Oh, the name of the ship on which we sail is a jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the captain's log. Oh, the name of the ship on which we sail is a jolly roving dog. And we will not rest upon our quest to find the Not bad, not bad. I made a tactical error as I started to try to figure out how to be entertaining to watch while playing the song, and you probably heard that. But you know, as we now say here at the uh, Tribadork show, I'm not very good at this. So, you know, I'm, I'm personally, I'm prepared for a disaster at every turn, and I hope you are too. Oh my goodness me, it's a lovely day out there. It's been raining a bit. Uh, it had stopped raining, and we actually had a power blip, and I was almost just really nervous about losing power during the show. Mm. Hail Hydrate. In this case, Hail Hydrate with Lemon Zest. My fancy Italian soda. That's right. I got a fancy Italian soda. But I also have a fancy Canadian soda. It's called Canada Dry. You know what that means. That means I open the can and there's nothing in it. Yeah, I told that joke, but you sat there and listened to it. So, I think we're even. All right, let me see where we are and what we've got here. Next up is, of course, in another original song. Uh, one that I wrote for a member of the Scottish court who was on cast and will doubtless be on cast again, the mighty Captain Peaches. Quite possibly the single most daring 
and Darling, Swashbuckler or Swishbuckler, that the world has ever known. <clears throat> yes, I said Swishbuckler. Yes, I stole it from Zorro the Gay Blade. Yes, I watched an awful lot of cable television when I was a teenager. We sing of thieves and noblemen who sail the bounding seas, but this here ditty ain't about a single one of these. I sing of a daring swashbuckler who spans the bounding reaches, the mighty, mighty corsair who is known as Captain Peaches. So batten down the hatches, boys, and dust the chandelier. For piracy is stylish when they're that pirate's near. He'll smite down any scalawag and leave the lady speechless. There's not a pirate as daring as the mighty Captain Peaches. He sails the endless bounty on the mighty raging queen. A ship the likes of which you poor land lovers never seen. She's got sixteen gilded cannon, and the decks are always clean, and tea is served quite promptly every day at 4.19. So batten down the hatches, boys, and dust the chandelier, for piracy is stylish whenever that pirate's near. He'll smite down any scalawag and leave the lady speechless. There's not a pirate as daring as the mighty and peaches. Queen Margaret's royal hairdresser, his bravery knows no bounds. His enemies quake when his cry to the pits with them resounds. Peach pits. The fiercest enemies have when his mercy quite compound, for he leaves his captured foemen twice as groomed as then they're found. So bend down the hatches, boys, and dust the chandelier. For piracy is stylish whene'er that pirate's near. He'll smite down any scalawag and leave the lady speechless. There's not a pirate as daring as the mighty Captain Peaches. His ship in Scarborough Harbor has a special pride of place, as it can't sail very far with pastel curtains made of lace. It's an aesthetic! The captain and his ship are art we never would debase. And once he pays his dock fees, then he's free to leave this place. So bat down the hatches, boys, and dust the chandelier. For piracy is stylish when our that pirate's near. He'll smite down any scalawag and leave the lady speechless. There's not a pirate daring as a mighty Captain Peaches. One more time. So bend down the hatches, boys, and dust the chandelier. For piracy is stylish whene'er that pirate's near. He'll smite down any scalawag and leave the lady speechless. There's not a pirate as daring as the mighty Captain Peaches. I think we actually got through that one. Arr. Yes. Thank you, Christopher. Arr. Pirate cheerleading tryouts. Give me an R. What's that spell? Not hard to be a pirate cheerleader, really. Uh, well, you know. Arr. Um, in sign language? Arr. <laughs> terrible things. Terrible things. Well, folks, um, the time has come for a moment that we've some of us are looking forward to and some of us are completely dreading. I'm doing both of them because it's the first time I have played this particular song for this show or, in fact, in my entire musical career entirely. Uh, I love it. I say, Give me an R! And you people are all taking an R! Or A and then A and then lean on the R key for about a half hour. An R! Um... This is a good key for the mermaid to be in. This is in the key of F, which is my key. It really is my key. I'm a tenor, short neck, big chest, loud voice. 
And, um, but, but, um, uh, to play it, thank you. My wife has said, but it's a cute bud. Aw. Uh, however, <laughs> and it's a big however, uh, the chords for it are a little iffy because there's the F chord, which is, it, it, for ukulele, it's easy. There's a C chord. Again, easy. However, in the middle of all that, there's a stinking B flat chord, which if you play guitar is basically an F. And if you play guitar and you hate the F chord, you can imagine the rage and anger that this chord generates in ukulele players, who had been promised we had an easier instrument to play. They lied. And so, um, let me do two things here. I need to bring up the actual chords. It's a fairly simple chord structure, so it's not like I'm gonna get lost in it somehow. However, it is also a chord structure that I'm not 100% used to. Um, the song can, in fact, go for three and a half days. It will not go for three and a half days during my show. You are welcome. It will, however, go for a few verses. We're gonna do some of the traditional ones. We'll do Robert's verse, and then I'm gonna throw in a couple more because I'm insane. And that's the kind of guy I am. So, <clears throat> oh. honestly, it's a stupid B flat chord. And if I tuned it, if I took it up or down a key, a d up or down a key, or two, I'd still be doing a flat, which is just mm, well, you know, I got to do it. Because the way I learned initially was. See, but that's not it. That doesn't work it as, as well. Twas, twas, there we go. Twas Friday morn when we set sail and we were not far from the land. When the captain espied a mermaid so fair with a comb and a glass in her hand. While the ocean waves may roll and the stormy winds may blow. While we poor sailors go skipping to the top, while the land lovers lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. Then up spoke the captain of our gallant ship, and a well spoken captain was he. Get back to work. This fishy mermaid has warned me of our doom, we shall sink to the bottom of the sea. And the ocean waves do roll, and the stormy winds may sailors go skipping to the tops while the land lovers lie down below 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 while the land lovers lie down below then up spoke the cook of our gallant ship and a salty old booger was he i care much more for me pots and me pans than i do do pots and me pa pots and me pans all oh, than i do for the bottom of the sea boating accident the ocean waves do roll and the stormy winds do we poor sailors go skipping to the tops while the land lovers lie down below, 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 while the land, land lovers lie down below. And up spoke the cabin boy of our gallant ship, and a fine young booger was he. I want me mum, my father and mother are in Salem by the sea, and tonight they, tonight they childless shall be. Boating accident, while the ocean waves do roll, and the stormy winds may Sailors go skipping to the tops while the land lovers lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. Then up spoke the cockroaches of our gallant ship, and some giant Bombay runners were they. Ah, let the old scout visit! Davy Jones's locker will survive till the end of the days. And the ocean waves do roll, and the stormy winds may blow, while we poor sailors go skipping to the tops. Lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. And up spoke the shanty man of our gallant ship, and a well tempered shanty man was he. This mermaid, me boys, is the least of me cares. Will you bastards, please, bastards, bastards, please all sing on the same key, and I should learn the chords. The ocean waves may roll, and the stormy winds do blow, while we poor sailors go skipping to the top. Lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. And up spoke the sloth 
of our gallant ship, and a rather lackadaisical sloth was he. He said, around spun our gallant ship and three times around spun she I'm fine and three times around I don't like this spun our gallant ship how many is that that's twice hang on <sighs> And she sank to the bottom of the sea While the ocean waves do roll And the stormy winds do blow While we poor sailors go skipping to the tops While the land lovers lie down below, below, below While the land lovers lie down below I tripped over a couple of things because I had stuff in the path of my feet during the uh, never do this song in a swivel chair. Just never do this song in a swivel chair. Oh, well, that was fun. A little rough in spots, but that was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's talk about a couple things here real quick. We are doing one more show this week. And I think the, pers the current goal is to continue to work from home through the end of the month, but we will find out. This is entirely up in the air. Nobody's sure of anything. I'm not sure of anything. And so we're just going to wing it as we go along. Ah, oh, so let's talk about this. Um, yes, there was a card for the mermaid, and I completely failed to put it in there. So we were all talking about the Battle of Captain Peaches while I was doing the mermaid. Because it's not really a Troubadour show unless we have one glaring technical issue. Got it. Uh, so let's talk about the tip jars and stuff. Uh, PayPal.me slash the adequate, Kofi.com slash the adequate. If you don't have any money, do not panic. I am doing this primarily to keep myself sane and to entertain my friends. Uh, Robert and Rick and Emily are all magnificent maniacs and have dropped stuff at cash in the bucket. I appreciate that. That cash is going to go toward things like better cameras and music lessons and stuff like that. And continuing to learn how to do this OBS thing, which is really, really powerful and really, really kind of dangerous in so many ways. And I can make it look even more like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Um, SoundCloud.com is where I have a lot of recorded stuff. I will be doing more recorded stuff, probably not until uh, things calm down some. I go back to work on a regular basis at work, or we block out a... Uh, some time on the weekends for me to record some of these songs that I've written because I'd like to write them and get them out there and get them recorded and uh, then I can like put together a band camp page and, and have fun with that. You can find the old shows uh, on the facebook.com slash Tobias the Adequate fan page, the official Tobias the Adequate page. I've been thinking about going over to uh, Streamlabs OBS which apparently can send this to that page but not my personal page and i don't understand why but we'll we'll burn that bridge when we come to it uh, you can also find it on youtube youtube.com slash mp laguerre on the troubadork playlist carpe diem comics is the official emotional support comic shop of tobias the adequate the adequate podcast which will eventually happen again the troubadork show and anything else i can come up with you can find them physically in mckinney texas or on the webs at carpe diem comics online dot square dot site that is their shop uh do support your own local comic shops local craft stores local music stores support the local folks because they don't have big corporations behind them and even though they're talking about opening up tech opening up the country again Mail order is your friend. Um, even if it's just to get a gift card or gift certificate, which is like a present to your future self. 
I should write ad copy. All right, Patreon is how you too can support adequacy in our lifetime, and I have had a sudden influx of insane people who I love and are slightly terrified of. Kaylee and Richard and Relly and John and Brian and Lorraine and Alicia, you folks are wonderful people, and um, I will do my best to justify your emotional and fiduciary outlay. Uh, basically, if you've got 12 bucks a year and don't, and don't have anything better to do with it, uh, you drop some, you, you, you just be pledged, and I will do things like previews of new songs and the backstage video, which I did, and, you know, when I get stuff like the app that I use to turn my phone into a camera here, then I'll tell you about that. It's your Patreon pennies at work. Things like that. Oh, and you get other stuff like buttons and ebooks and books and things and stuff because I feel this overwhelming nerd urge to justify myself. Ah, oh, seafaring songs. I like them. I still like them a lot. I was a sea dog for eight years. Uh, the stains never really come out, no matter how hard you scrub. And uh, we'll do this again tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure what we'll do tomorrow, but by golly, we'll do something. I uh, thank you guys so much once again for hanging out with me. Without you here, this is even less justifiable than it is now. So I am really appreciated a great deal. And we'll do the traditional fade over to the card in two parts because I was incorrectly clicking on things and that's okay. We've had our third technical waha and that's all right because it ain't a Tobias Troubadour show without those. We go to the black with the MST3K ending because sometimes people just want to be able to say they stuck around. Psych.